That was a beautiful event. That started uh, the day after the marathon uh, when they decided to do it at St. Anne's Church in Dorchester. And uh, the, as the people came, they put it together just in three, four hours that everybody was supposed to be at the church at six o'clock for this vigil at St. Anne's. St. Anne's only probably would hold, I'm just guessing, maybe 600 people. Well, they were really pouring up there. And Father Conley, who was filling in that night, he, was, he, he said, we can't have it here. We have to move it down to the park. And I've never seen so many people at a park at that particular park with candles of that of all walks of life that came in there. It was just beautiful. And Father Conley, uh, who was at uh, St. Anne's and St. Brendan's, now he's in West Roxbury, he gave me a spot because he's about six foot four, but I needed to get up real high, so he helped me get into this. Uh, you know, if it, when you're making, uh, taking photographs, you have to, you're always looking for height, you know, to, uh, so you can see everything. And I'm big on that, you know, I like rooftops, I, I, you know, I get into buildings, and it's always nice to know people that you can get up into a roof, you know, rooftop or a building. Uh, but that was just a beautiful scene, and the light just dropped at the perfect time, you know, it was kind of 7.30, 8 o'clock, it just kept dropping, and the crowd just kept getting bigger and bigger. And that was the neighborhood, you know, that's where the Martins grew up, in that neighborhood, just on the other side. And, uh, you know, they were, I mean, it was just a beautiful moment, and I've never seen it before, and now it will be part of history.